Now next topic in the queue is called priority queues. So what exactly is a priority queue? A priority queue in general is a collection of prioritized elements in which the next element to be removed from the queue is the element that has highest priority of all elements. So see about this point. We have seen so far it is first in first out but now the first in first out principle will not be followed strictly it will be followed with the first rule that find out element which has the highest priority and there is a factor and both has to be true has been in the queue the longest among elements with equal priorities so if there are two elements with the same priority let us first you find out who has the highest priority now let us assume that there are three elements in the queue which have the same highest priority then you have to find out who came first in the queue the one who came first will go out first so after finding out the priority we still use the same queuing principle called first in first out so it is priority plus first in first out principle is called priority queue So let us see the element here, there are these are the first oldest time. So first oldest time means the first you are putting A with priority 2. So remember two things, oldest time and recent time means first you have inserted this, then this, then this, then this then this then this and then this so the way you have inserted a b c d e f g now if it has been a, re a standard regular queue then the way you will take it out is also same a b c d e f g but since it is a priority queue and there is a priority associated with each one of them like a has priority 2 b has priority 3 C has priority 1, D has priority 2, E has priority 3, F has priority 2 and G has priority 1. So each of these elements have a priority associated with them. Now you cannot remove just like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What you will do is that first find out which has the highest priority. Now out of this which has the highest priority? Highest priority is this and this both has priority 3 now since there are two elements uh, which has the highest priority how do you decide which one to take out now you use the principle of first in first out between b and e use the principle of first in first out between b and e and based on that b will come out first okay once B comes out, you are left with A, C, D, E, F, G. Out of that, again, who has the highest priority? This one. And there is now only one element with priority 3, so this one will come out next. Now, if these two have come out, among the remaining, who has the highest priority? A, D, and F. But out of that, who has come first? A. So A will come out now and the same way all the elements will be taken out and the sequence will be B, E, A, D, F, C, G. So this is called priority Q. Okay? Now priority Qs can be used created using linked list as well or using the array. Here is an example of how priority queues 
can be represented using a linked list data structure. So, what you can do is that you can have a linked list like this B with priority 3, E with priority 3, A with priority 2 and the way it will represent is that first you will remove B then you will remove E and A and D and F and C and Z. So, this is the way of representing a priority queue using linked list. You can use a priority queue using an array of queues as well. What you can have is that you can have a multi-dimensional array which might look something like this. Think about a array. Now here, this is a multi-dimensional array. Now, what you can do is that you can put here 0, 1, 2, 3, now, whenever the element comes and this is called, we will call it highest priority and this one we will call it as a lowest priority. Now, whenever the element comes with a, any priority, you put it there itself. So, let us assume a new element comes B with a priority called 3 or 4. So, 3 comes, then I will put here B. Then another element with a priority C came with 1, then I will keep it here C. Another element came with a priority called 2 and name was A. And then D came, so you put it here. And then E came with a priority 3. Then G came with priority 1. F came with priority 2. So, then what I have is that a two dimensional array which represents a priority queue. Now, when I am going to remove the object, what I will do? Very simple. First, I will start with this array, this row, then I will remove all the elements in this row, then I will remove all the elements in this row then I will remove all the elements in this row and then finally I will remove the elements in this row and that is the way the priority queue works and in this one I will start first with the this column and then go like this this so that is the way you can store a priority queue in an array and you can use in queuing and de queuing. So, we are done with the queue session.